getting new transitions into directing films. Uh, Jerry and Tom, which was uh, an interesting film where you opened with sort of this long, long take with uh, Sam Rockwell and Joe Montaigne. Uh, so what was sort of that like developing that film initially? I had directed it as a one-act play. It's written by Rick Cleveland, who uh, is become a great uh, television writer. And um, but at that point, he was a playwright only. He's still a playwright too. But uh, Rick, it was a one-act play festival done at the Met Theater in 1994, uh, modeled on the EST um, one-act play festival marathons that were done in New York. It's a theater in New York that does when I play marathons. Yeah. And uh, it, I was asked to direct this one play by this playwright. It was a three-character play called Tom and Jerry, and I loved it. It was very, very funny. And it was a big hit of that little festival, one act plays. And it was a big hit of that little festival that we did in 94. And then I was looking to direct my first film. My wife and partner, Eleanor Reed, was... Um, said, what about Jerry and Tom? What about Tom and Jerry is what it was called. And we approached Rick, and over a year we developed it into a screenplay. And, uh, and it was, so we had lived with it for a year or more before, and that wasn't that long. And then we found the right financing through this little company called Cinepix, a Canadian company uh, who was about to change their name to Lionsgate. Huh. <laughs> uh, it was... Uh, I had always had a theory about actors in two shots. I mean, I was really upset quite often doing movies, working with a fellow actor on, on a scene in a two shot, and then seeing it cut to shit in the editing room later. And the energy that we had in a two shot was magical. You just yeah. leave the camera alone, the actors are, you don't need to cut, 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 cut. And I hated it. Uh, Quite often it was really bad. And I knew I had a movie here that could be a series of two shots. That most of it could be done in a two shot. And that I didn't really need to cut much if I had two great actors. So I made sure I had two great actors. Although Sam Rockwell was unknown at the time, but I had a feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Joe Mantegna, obviously. And then I had Charlie Durning and Maury Chaikin and Peter Riegert and William H. Macy and Ted Danson. I had this amazing group of actors. And so I didn't really need to do that much directing. And my plan was to keep it in single shots as much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. And let the actors do the work and, and give it a theatricality. And the transitions, there was time transitions that I did in the film that I planned with my cinematographer, Paul Sarasi, who's a great cinematographer. Uh, and uh, my production designer, David Hackle, who's become a film director. but. The two of them together collaborated brilliantly to help create transition shots that are all in the camera. They're all theatrical, there's no digital effects, but it looks like all the transitions are digital because they're, you go from interior, night, winter, to exterior, yeah, summer, sun, seamlessly, yeah. without any cutting. And that's all theater, it's not digital. It's all theater, it's all done in camera. You know, it's, it was really fun to do and it gives it a kind of a, an odd, it could it was very risky and give it an odd yeah. patina. It kind of pulls you in as a viewer, especially that opening uh, shot in the film where you're in the bar and it, you know you move around in there. I think it does. Yeah. I think it keeps the tension going because you don't know whether he's going to blow this guy's head off or not. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and and I liked it. I liked it for that reason. And I uh, and it was it's very cinematic in its own way. Um, so that was an amazing experience uh, doing that film, and we got to you know be in competition at Sundance. It was exciting, you know, and it launched uh, Rick's career as a screenwriter. Yeah, worked on The West Wing, I think House of Cards, and uh, Nurse Jackie, yeah. uh, Six Feet Under for a number of years, and for the whole series. And yeah, he's one of the great television, one of the great screenwriters. He's, he's really a, a remarkable talent, and uh, um, and that was an amazing experience. That uh, we were very lucky to be able to get financed. Today it would be much harder to get that financed. Was done for around two and a half million dollars or so, but to get two and a half million dollars to do that today is very difficult, even with that those names. Yeah, independent film doesn't really exist in the same way that. Uh, well, it does only digitally, I guess, on, yeah. on the web, and you can. It's, it, there are great indie films out there, but um, of course, and they're not all 
very low budget, but there's but there it's rare because from the mainly because the um, the smaller mini studios that used to develop and, and distribute them are gone. Yeah. 